y'all know yeah. what it is. We're gonna make a crock pot, a little bit of Grenadian style, Grenadian flavor. Just a little bit of some things that we'll be adding into it. Right here, we have diced up butter squash, okoro. Over here, we got diced up peppers, some zucchini. Then we have banana, sweet potatoes, yellow potato, plantain, and some pumpkins. The type of herbs we'll be using today, some diced onions, some rosemary, some oregano, ginger slices, coriander, some thyme, pink onions, onion leaf, and regular diced onions. So today we'll be using some sliced chicken. You can use whatever type of chicken you like. I preferably use sliced chicken. It's a little bit quicker to cook. First, we're gonna start off with some salt, a little bit of black pepper, and my favorite, Italian season. Here we go, we're just gonna stir it up. Now, we're gonna build the pot. First, we start off with the chicken, you put it right in the middle. Then we work our way to the herbs. So what we're gonna do now is just stack our pot Take the bananas and make it a border. So we have sweet potatoes, we're just gonna put it all the way around. Then we're gonna put regular potatoes. Now what we're gonna do is put the pumpkin. So you can try this on your own at home, maybe for a family function. And we're gonna take the bananas and also put it on the side. If you have a family or friends of six or seven coming over and you want them to try something traditional and nice, then we're gonna take the butter squash, pack that around here. So essentially what you want to do is pack all the harder vegetables around it and then you're encaving the meat in it so all the sauce and everything soaks into it. Just in case some people don't like old corral, I'm just going to put it on half of it and that's how you would stack that. Now what we're going to do is season and flavor with all of those herbs that we have over there, some salt, some pepper. It's a great Italian thing. Okay, so we're gonna just thread the leaves of the herbs, sprinkle it all around, but I'm gonna keep the stems in it because it does give it flavor also. Put some of the thymes in it, there we go. Then I'm gonna put all these whole onions in it. Pop of onions, give it a very nice herbalicious flavor. I'm gonna put some garlic in it. Put a little bit of rosemary. I'm gonna also put the fresh onion in it because that also gives it a different type of flavoring. And we're going to put the long string onions. Now what we're going to do is add some salt all around it. Pepper. Some pepper, sorry. Add a little bit of oil. Set your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to put her in and let her start cooking. So roughly you want it to stay there for about two hours roughly. So while that's cooking in the oven, what we're going to do is work on our pan sear chicken. Really love the pan sear because what it does, it gives it a nice rustic flavor from the pan and it's quick and easy to make. So in the meantime, let's season that pan sear chicken. So for the pan sear chicken, we're not going to use any of these. We're going to use dried powder herb because it's going to be on a grill. We don't want to burn any of the herbs. We're going to use them dry. Pepper, some salt, some Caribbean spice. Seasoning, Italian herbs, a little bit of a chipotle flake. Now what we're gonna do is just get all in there. So while we let this marinate for about 5, 10, 20 minutes, we're gonna build a nice sauce for it. So once it starts to grab flavor from the pan sear, we're gonna sauce it up and we're gonna put it back right there just to give it a nice smoke flavor. Mm, look at this up close. We're gonna turn the crock pot on, medium low heat. So in the meantime, while the pan is warming up, we're gonna get ready on our veggies. So we're gonna put it on medium low. Right here we got our veggies. We got all of our seasoning right here. Circle it in the pan, just so it doesn't stick. Let it warm up, throw your veggies in, and season with salt and pepper. Now we're just gonna cover this down for a little bit and let all the juice start coming out of it. All right guys, so we have the chicken in the oven, the crock pot in the oven. We got veggies steaming right here. And what we're gonna do is do some veggie okra. We're gonna put some oil in it, let it heat, add the okra to it. Crunch up your onions. Throw it in it, and because I want to make it very colorful, I'm going to add some purple onions, a little bit of green onions, a little bit of garlic, some salt, and pepper. So if you notice, most of our seasoning are kind of the same, but what we focus on is really bringing the flavor of the main item itself and making that bring out by all the herbs that we put into it. So stir it, stir it, stir it. Place in the chicken. And 
we're gonna let that pan sear on this side for about three minutes and we'll flip it over and let it pan sear for three minutes. We're gonna dip it in some, some sauce, which we're gonna get it right on right now, and then put it back on for another three minutes. And there we go. Stirring the veggies. Now we're gonna add all of our seeds. I gotta close the window before I record because New York don't know how to be quiet. Stand up. Stand up. So what you want to notice on the chicken is the blood coming up through the bone. That's a signature that the chicken is half cooked on the opposite side. So you want to keep that as little pointers to start getting ready to flip the chicken. So you don't lose all the juice of the chicken. You keep it nice and juicy but cooked properly. Now we're going to flip it. Oh, look at that. And this is the reason why we cut it thin like this. Make sure that it cooks properly and fast and all the juices. As you can see right here, you just want to make sure it gets a bit slimy and a bit softer. So we're just going to cover it down and leave it, put the fire on low. So we're going to drop it to about three and a half or two and a half. We're going to look over here in the veggie. We don't want to overcook the veggies now, okay? So let's make sure that the veggies is not too soft, but it's crunchy and nice with all these nice herby flavor. Looks nice, that pepper looks nice, so we're gonna just blow down the heat on this also. We're gonna make some of the sauce for the pan seared chicken over here. What we're gonna do is gonna add a little bit of green herb seasoning, original Diana sauce, hot pepper sauce, spicy chipotle sauce, a little bit of this just to give it a mustard flavor, and some ketchup to water it down. And what you wanna do, give it a nice whip. So now the sauce is done, dip the chicken in the sauce. All right, guys, so if you look over here, oh, how beautiful and nice and smooth and soft this looks. The okra is so nice, and you can see all of the onions are so caramelized. Right over here, oh, look at this veggies, oh my gosh. Still crunchy with the zucchini, nice and flavored with the herbs. And if you look over here, as you can see, we already put the sauce on the chicken. It's almost done. We're just going to flip it right now. Oh, look at that nice flavor. Oh, look at this. Oh, I wish you guys can taste this here with me right now, but oh. Let's try this at home, guys. Like and subscribe, see the recipe, and we're gonna keep on bringing it to you. It's from Nourishing Foods. Clean up on our crock pot right here. Oh, look at this. Glorious. Let's do our assessment. So, oh, look at this. You see how nice and soft this cuts into it? This means this is fully cooked. We're just gonna pull over here and take a look at our meat. Oh, there we go. You see how this breaks very easily and nice? So make sure your meat is cooked properly. There we go. See that? All your meat is cooked. Oh, look at that. So guys, this is how you make a very nourishing, delicious, mixed, vegetable, organic crock pot. Little bit of culture. This is the finished product of our crock pot, our pancer chicken, our stir veggies, and our okra. First, we're gonna taste the okra. So with the okra, you wanna have a little bit of texture, but it's gonna be soft, nice, and a little bit gooey for some people. Mmm. Really nice, I can really taste the onion flavor in it. Absolutely capturing in what we want it to desire. Let's taste our veggie. And with the veggie, you wanna eat it with the onion. Because the onion is really the flavor of it. So we're trying right here. It's just a piece of potato. Mmm. It's almost like a burst of flavor when you eat it with the onion. The onion has such great flavoring with it. I just soaked in all the herb. Can't wait for this one. The last and favorite final pan seared chicken. Oh my goodness. Wow, every bite is just an absolutely burst of taste in your mouth. Absolutely love it. Guys, this right here, absolutely favorite. I'm sure if you cook this for your family and friends, you would absolutely enjoy it. Hey, I had a lot of fun. I want you guys to have fun. Try this at home. Recommend it to your friends and family. Guess what? Like and subscribe. Let me keep on doing this for you and for me. Enjoy. Have a wonderful day while I go and enjoy my food. I want to show you guys a quick easy tip on how to cut butter squash. First, cut off the bottom and then just slice it in half. What you're going to do is take the knife, you hold from the back firmly and grip it as you peel the layers all the way 